Championship for professional drone racing teams. That's us, the Drone Champions League, and I'm Matt Andrews. Welcome to race day two for 2024. We have the eight best teams in the world competing for our title, and we're only in split one of the year with a lot of action to look forward to. Today, two matchups for you. First, the reigning champions, X Blades. They've got Min J Kim, Star 23467, Sali One, and Killian Russo. An unchanged lineup from last week where they put in a big win over Quad Force One. They're up against an unchanged Raiden Racing, who had a bit of a tougher battle last week. Yuki, Vincent Mayan, IQ Zero, and Valprim are trying to take on the champions. Then we'll see China Dragons, who had a heavy defeat last week. Ion, Gabri, Mojo, and Creator Gamer are their first four pilots that we're going to be watching. And they're going to be up against the DCL Wildcard team, which we always have to give new pilots a chance to show off and try and get picked by one of our professional teams. It's Chagakfa, West, Super Spyro, and Tom. And the wildcard team did something no other year's wildcard team has managed to do. After their first week of the season, they're on top of the leaderboard. Their opponents, the China Dragons, are down in six. So we'll see what the wildcard team is made of in week two. All of the matchups consist of three races. First, two pilots for each team race against each other. Then the other two pilots race each other. And then the big heat, where everybody races. And all of those races are worth four points to the winner, then three then two, and you get one point for coming in in fourth. If you're in a big heat, none of the other places score anything. The team with the most race points get three points towards their place on the leaderboard. It's one point if it's a draw. Nobody wants zero. So let's get into the first of today's races, and what a matchup this is going to be. X-Blades against Raiden Racing, the 2023 world champions against the team they took the title from, and the rivalry has been with them for so many years. Star and Sally for X-Blades out in blue against Yuki and Vise Mayan for Raiden in yellow. And it is, of course, Mayan who is in the lead. And I say, of course, as he's so often there. But when it comes to fighting against X-Blades, yeah, don't, don't expect anything to be handed to you easily. Now, Mayan using a great route there around the central part of the sculpture and heads up to the duck down with Sally. One's view of him now. Three tenths of a second behind him in second. And Star about three or four tenths of a second behind his teammate back in third. And Yuki many seconds behind. So for Raiden, it's going to be Viso Mayan on his own, it seems, at this stage. He's on lap number two. Finding his way into the car park, hops over the car and is still pursued by Sally One. The gap's about the same. Sally One not gaining on him too much just yet as they go into the park. Star just slipped a little bit further behind in third, but not so far as to be troubled by Yuki yet. Mines is out of the sculpture. Watch out for the lampposts. And then goes up before you drop down, and that's where the slalom needs to be flown. And here's Sally One, a little further behind than he was. Mines known as the best finisher in the DCL. I've said that many times, as he's proved many, many times. He's out in front throughout this race. Sally One. Got to try and catch it. Mines ducks down, drops onto the building, aggressively pulls it towards the ground and gets into the subway. Sally One, over half a second behind him. And they're on their third lap, and that was a little bit wobbly for Sally One. Mines is very smooth out of the sculpture. Sally One maybe lost a little bit of time and then pulled it back again. Mines still with nobody in his vision. Yuki just goes over him there, but he is five seconds behind the teammate. Mines into the cages. Sally One. Trying to gain on him. Just caught him a little bit on that turn. That was nice. You're going to have to do that again and again and again on all the obstacles you can just to claw back that lead that Mines has. It's down to just under three tenths. And we are on the final lap. Mines into the park. Swings around for the Fox Ear pair. Makes one and two with Sully One in hot pursuit. 36 hundredths of a second behind him. No trouble for Mines. He's away. Sully One a little closer within a quarter of a second of him now. Mayan swings around here. 
Sally One trying to nibble away at that gap. He's got very little time to do it now. It's going to be in the cage. You need to make a really technical exit out of it. And Sally One does. And he's within a tenth yes! of a second. Oh. But oh. listen to Mines as he knows the pressure was on. Good push, Sally. Wow. What a run. Sally's so good. And you hear Vincent say it himself. Sally One is so good. But he managed to stay ahead of him all the way. Wow, that was exciting. What a great race to open day two for you. Sally One on the third lap was staying with Mayans and he managed to do that even tighter on the fourth. Ended up just being within a tenth of a second of him. Here come the teammates, Killian and Minjay for X-Blades, Valprim and IQ Zero for Raiden. Now both teams came away from that first race, five all, with Vincent getting four points for the win, but Yuki coming in fourth and just getting one, and X-Blades getting the other five points in it. So, all tied up after that first match. And Valprim heads to the front of this, no doubt excited to show he can do anything that Vincent Mines can do. IQ Zero had a full start, he jumped the gun, which is giving him a one second penalty out of the blocks. Nevertheless, he's gone from fourth up to third as he's just passed Minjay. And Valprim is heading to the split S underneath Killian and takes the lead from him on the way back through the slalom. Killian's just alongside him, very close to them. But yeah, Valprim had a slightly lower route. Killian tried to dive down with more speed. And as he does so now, he's getting back into lead. There's nothing between the two of them onto the start of lap number two. Killian in front. Valprim chasing him. Can't see him. There he goes again. Killian ducks back in front. They're just going to be swinging in and out of each other's view, particularly on technical dives like this. Valprim, so new in the DCL. Killian's been with us for many years. He took one year out last year. And now he's returned to the team to help them defend their world title. Killian leads up here. Now, is he going to go as high as he did last time? Maybe. Valprim doesn't manage to make the move on the second lap. He was a little bit further behind to try and do it. Out in third, it's now Minjay Kim for X-Blades, who's fighting with IQ Zero for fourth. They're very close to each other. Two points for third, one point for fourth. They're scrapping over those. Out in front, we've got the other battle. Killian versus Valprim. Valprim, nice pre-turn. Tries to move inside Killian, but anything one of them can do, the other one is matching at the moment. This is brilliant racing from them. One of these pilots, Killian Rousseau from France, is super experienced in the DCL. And Valprim is so new, and yet giving him everything he can. Killian leads up. Valprim further behind now. It's almost four tenths, so that is starting to get away from him. Killian into the park, swings a little bit left. Valprim tries to go a little bit more direct and then try to make the turn into the cages a little bit differently. He hasn't gained anything on Killian. We've got one lap left and three tenths of a second is the gap between Killian and Valprim. Can't afford to make any mistakes now, but these are such good pilots. Not really likely that either of them are going to crash into anything around Prop Town. Killian still leading Valprim, but the gap has got a bit smaller now. Valprim has halved it. He's only 15 hundredths of a second behind. I thought he got caught on the sculpture, and I think he has, as he's lost a second of time. And it's, no, oh, no, and it's broken his rhythm. It's broken his rhythm. He's in second, and he's surely not going to catch Killian unless anything goes wrong for him. But I think his teammates and his captain will be telling him, OK, you've got this. Don't do anything crazy. Killian finishes it. Valprim's lost a bit more time. Min no, Jay wasn't job. far from taking second. Nice. Nice. Well done. Well done. <sighs> nice comeback, Min Jay. Only 1.3 seconds between second and fourth place there. Killian winning out in front of all of them. Oh, that was a close one. Killian and Valprim, such great battles all the time, and we're only at the start of the season. Just that one mistake from Valprim, getting caught in the sculpture, and then he got left behind by Killian. Otherwise, it could have been either of them. So when we send all of these eight pilots into the air for the legendary DCL Big Heat, well, you'd be brave, I think, to guess who's going to win it. Now, let's take a look at the score as well as this big heat gets underway. X-Blades are two points ahead of Raiden. So, if Raiden scored two more points than X-Blades, then this will be a draw. Neither team want that. So, if Raiden don't win, they have to get second, third, and fourth. So let's see Min Jae making a bump off of the pylon. Oh, and he's just about bumped his way around that turn. And that's got him back to the back. That's uh, not like Min Jae Kim out of Korea to make some mistakes there. It's Sally One at the opposite end of things, out in front, and it's Killian chasing him this time. Then, of course, Vincent Myers wants a piece of that. And Valprim would like to show what he can do too. He's absolutely fearless, this new young pilot for Raiden. On to lap number two. Top four of our pilots, all within three tenths of a second of each other. Absolutely amazing. They all leave the car park. Sally One and Killian, Vincent close to them. 
Valprim trying to hang in there as well. It's only the top four positions that get the points. Raiden needs to get all of them. If it is Killian or Sullivan who get the win. Thing is, Vincent Mayan is absolutely deadly around this environment. And he's coming for the pair of them. Now here he goes past Saliwan and Killian into that turn. But they're giving as good as they can back. They leave him behind in the cages. Oh no, he's right amongst them now. We're halfway through the race. Still Killian and Saliwan in first and second. And Vincent Myers popping in to make a change there. Valprim down in fourth. There they are exiting the car park. Vincent Mayan definitely further up into the field than he was. Valprim still about four or five tenths of a second behind them. Mines only sees one drone in front of him now. And that's Sally One leading him towards here. Remember in the first race of today, Vincent just beat out Sally One in that heat. So he's going to think he can get him again. And that turn didn't quite work for him as well as it did before. It's where he grabbed a whole load of time on the previous lap. But not this time. He's still in second. And Valprim is up to third. But it doesn't look like Yuki or IQ Zero can take that fourth place as they are major time behind them. And remember what I said, they need to get second, third, and fourth if they don't get the win. So Myers is going to go and try and grab the win, isn't he? And he's taking it through the fox here. Pear almost had Sally One there. Round the sculpture, no issues with that. Comes out in front of Sally One by two thousandths of a second. The drop's got to be perfect. And it is. And now they head back through the slalom with only a few corners to go. Sally One goes a little bit wider on the turns into the cages. Valprim hits the wall. He's out of there. It's got to be Myers. It's Sally One! No! Yes! Go! Ray Ross, oh. Sally. Yes, Beautiful, Sally. Oh, that was so important, boy. Oh, oh yeah. God. You hear Star saying that was so important. Why? Well, if Mayan had beaten Sally One, that race would have been six points to four, and Raiden would have tied the match up. Valprim, of course, was challenging near the front of that as well. You'll see as he just makes this turn, he bounces off of the wall at the bottom of the steps. That put any contention he had from maybe getting a follow-up points behind Mayan. But Sally One beating them all out, and with that, X-Blades Racing get a win over Raiden Racing, and they will love to see it. 16 points to 14, so close. Our second matchup is the China Dragons against the DCL Wildcard team. It will kick off with Creator Gamer and Gabri against Super Spyro and Tom. So some changes to the rosters here. The DCL Wildcard team changes every year to give pilots a chance to show us what they can do. So we welcome Tom in his first race of the DCL. It's all very close, all four pilots. At the lead is Gabri, who was flying last year with Alpha Prop Racing. But well, that team disbanded, and Gabri's been picked up by China Dragons. Racing alongside Creator Gamer, who's been with the team for many years. We've usually seen Creator Gamer racing alongside Chrysan, but Chrysan has left the team for Cyclone. So, big drama at China Dragons. Gabri ahead of Super Spyro, Creator Gamer in third, Tom in fourth, and it's less than a second between all four of them as they come to the end of lap number one. And starts out on lap number two with Super Spyro having his chance to move past Creator Gamer and leave him behind a little bit and go up into the lead. Super Spyro heads out of the car park, Creator Gamer about 15 hundredths of a second or so behind it, maybe slipping a little further back. Gabri slipping a little further in third and Tom trying to keep up with the more experienced pilots from the DCL. Oh, well, there's a bump for Super Spyro and that lost him the lead. Look, you can see the gap now as he sees Creator Gamer is seven tenths of a second ahead of him. And in fact, there's the second drone from China Dragons in orange as Gabri Prince has gone over the top of Super Spyro and is currently in a 1-2 with Creator Gamer. And they're halfway through the race, starting lap number three. Creator Gamer, Gabri Prince, three tenths or so between them. Super Spyro getting a little bit left behind and Tom struggling to keep up on his first race. Wildcard team need to keep up and gain soon on Gabri and Creator Gamer. Oh, this race is just running away from them. There's Gabri around the sculpture, nicely done. A little bit wide on the last exit from it. Seen some tighter lines on the exits. Still good, Creator Gamer's view in front has got Gabri passing him. Where did Gabri find that bit of speed? There they go into the cages. Super Spyro, 1.8 seconds behind them. Oh, this is looking like a 1-2 for China Dragons and a 7-3 start to this matchup. Now Gabri is back in second. We'll see him swing around and maybe get a little bit tighter on the lines out of the car park than Creator Gamer did. And yes, he's just nudged past him into the lead. Let's see if he can keep it through this Foxeer pair here. 
And he does around the sculpture. He was a little bit wide on the exit of it last time. That's much better. Oh, that's much better. That's worked. And that's put a few tents between him and his teammates. Creates a game of Ducks Under. Goes through the slalom. Both of the wildcard team are five seconds or so behind them. So this is a strong one-two oh, for the China Dragons. And after they were heavily beaten oh, yeah. last week, they'll be really oh. glad to get that started. Oh, a wet bull. Nice one. Gabri gets their win for the China Dragons. And yes, after they lost 21 points to nine last time against SDT, they'll be very glad to start this series off in the lead. Gabri all on their own on lap number one before Super Spyro came and surprised them and was in the lead for a while. It was good flying from Super Spyro. But at the end of the race, it was all China Dragons in those first two spots. Ion and their other new pilot, Mojo, will be giving it a go now with Chugakva and West, their opponents from the DCL wildcard team. West is on their debut in the DCL as well as Mojo. Chugakva, a new pilot for the wildcard team, previously raced for Haven Airborne, our team out of Stavanger in Norway, who were in the DCL last year, but they disbanded too. And so Chugakva has been picked up by the wildcard team, keen to show us what he can do and try and get a permanent spot in one of our permanent teams. He's in the lead at the moment. Rocking and rolling his way out of the sculpture with Ion. Brilliant pilot out of Bangalore for China Dragons. He's coming in second place, two tenths behind him. Mojo a little bit further behind. West a few seconds behind at the moment. There's Ion's view in second place of Chugakva as they complete lap number one. Chugakva through the two split S's and into the car park. And Ion, not quite so quick. He's lost a tenth. He's lost a little bit more here and there as well. Chugakva through the subway. Ion chases him out. They swing around the pylon on the far side of the first and then the second Fox ear gates. And come out of the sculpture. It's a little bit shaky for Ion. Not quite as smooth as we've seen from other pilots. Also for Chugakva though. And Ion has gained a fraction on him. Out of the sculpture, they'll both fly into the park. Mojo is into the slalom as well. West is a few more seconds behind. Ion, not quite as tight out of the cages as he could be, and a little bit slower onto the entry of the third lap as well. Chugakva's not got it quite as smooth either. And Mojo has passed Ion, and West has passed Ion, and it has all gone wrong for Ion FPV. He is far behind at the back, and that leaves Chugakva with no pressure at all at the moment, other than the fact that it's the new season, and he wants to show everybody how good he is. Chugakva all on their own. No pilot within two seconds of him. He'll make his way back down the slalom. And his teammates will probably be telling him, don't worry, you've got it all to yourself. You've got a big lead. Otherwise, he might be thinking, well, if they can't see them coming towards me in the slalom, maybe they're right behind me. But no, you've got even more time now, Chugakva. The car park is all yours. Meanwhile, second and third, Mojo is being caught and passed by West FPV, who's got up into second place. And Wildcard are beating out both of the China Dragons pilots at the moment. Here's his view in second. No sign of his teammate Chugakva, who's seven or so seconds ahead of him. Chugakva indeed on the drop here. Might see West coming towards him on the slalom overhead. There it is. And then Mojo and Ion are close to each other, but nowhere near the Wildcard pilot. So they've just got to bring this home now. The DCL Wildcard team will beat out China Dragons in a solid 1-2. And... There it is! Go, baby. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Damn, Chug. Oh, you say that as fast. Congratulations to Chugak for getting a win for the DCL wildcard team and to West for getting second place on his debut. Never give up. He was back in fourth place during the first lap. Ends up in second. But that's mainly because it went quite wrong in places for Ion and Mojo. Still, you've got to keep flying and you've got to keep fighting. And that's what he did. And look, it's paid off. So I was saying how important this series was to China Dragons after they got heavily beaten last week by SDT. Well, in the big heat, we're going in with it being 10 points all now after China Dragons got first and second in the first race. And then the wildcard team got first and second in the one just now. Could this be a tied up series? That would be a fairly good result for the wildcard team. China Dragons will be very disappointed with that. Gabri Prince, Super Spyro, West around there as well in the top three places. Creator Gamer just hovering around in fourth. 
by far the most experienced DCL pilot in this is Creator Gamer, who's been with China Dragons for many, many seasons. Gabri Prince is putting in a good battle here with the two pilots from the wildcard team. Gabri leads them on to the start of lap number two. Two tenths of a second over Super Spyro with about two or three tenths of a second between him and West. Chuck Ackford joining the top four too as Creator Gamer has slipped down by five or six seconds. Oh no, the most experienced pilot going to the back. Gabri out of the sculpture. Not a problem there. Super Spyro about a quarter of a second behind him. There's the drop, a little more aggressive for Super Spyro. It's looking like these two are getting away from all of the others now. Look, there's nobody else around them in the cages and they'll feed their way up halfway through the race to lap number three. If it finishes like this, Gabri would get four points, but second, third and fourth and the six points they're worth would all go to the wildcard team. They really need an orange drone to get involved at the top. What they don't need is Gabri to be losing the lead to Super Spyro. Not at all, let alone by six tenths and Chuck Agva getting past him as well. Oh, it is going very wrong now for the China Dragons. The wildcard team, you know, different pilots every year. The China Dragons have had to make some big roster changes this year, but they've been in the DCL for so long now. And it's looking like 2024 is going to be a rough start to the season for them, considering 2023 was probably the best season they'd ever had. Gabri fights back within a tenth of a second of Super Spyro and that lead and gets past him and heads into the subway and has left him behind and Spyro has crashed. Super Spyro has crashed and lost a ton of time and Chug Akva is close to him in third and Ion has moved up into fourth. This is important now. It's the final lap. It's currently first and fourth, China Dragons, second and third, the wildcard team. It'll be five points all. It'll be a drawn matchup. That's not what the China Dragons wanted, but they were looking like they were going to lose it outright. Can Ion get third? Can he get past Chuck Akva? He's so close to him, but Gabri's got the win. Wow. Super Spyro oh, second. Oh, Chuck Akva and Ion in <sighs> that order. I was first. Really? Yeah. Super Spyro was first, but Gabri took it from him, and Ion nearly had that third place, but didn't get there. Was a tenth behind at the end. Here's Super Spyro and Gabri fighting early on, and that fight was throughout the race, really. Gabri got past him and around here in the car park, just on the exit of it. Looks good, and then the dive. He went up first to get more speed on the exit of it, and that worked. So it's a draw, 15 points all, the China Dragons and the DCL wildcard team. It was 7-3, Gabri winning that first series, then 7-3 for Chugakva getting a win for the wildcard team, and they just cancelled each other out. With our other teams on race day two, there was another 15 points all, and the two American teams, Quad Force 1 and Cyclone, raced each other. Neither team will be pleased about that result. And Mac 1 got a beating from SDT, which has put the Spain drone team on top of the leaderboard. They move from third to first and swap positions with the wildcard team. x planes remain between them in second. Coming up on race day three, we've got a bumper episode for you, as we're going to show you x plays versus Cyclone, Quad Force 1 versus Raiden, and... China Dragons and Mac 1. I'm Matt Andrews with the DCL. We'll see you in the skies.